It's a murder case that made headlines around the world. The Oklahoma City pharmacist who shot and killed a 16-year-old tried to rob his store with a friend last May. Now the pharmacist's attorney has filed to dismiss the charges, saying discrepancies within the ME's office clear his client. News 9's Adriana Ivashinsky joins us live from the Oklahoma County Courthouse with more on what this could all mean for the case. Adriana? Kelly, yesterday was the deadline to file those motions to dismiss the charges, and attorney Urban Box tells me that there is strong enough evidence to keep his client from going to trial. This is the surveillance video of what happened that day in May when pharmacist Jerome Ursuline confronted two teenagers trying to rob his store. One of them, 16-year-old Antoine Parker, died in the attempted robbery. At stake is not whether Ursuline killed Parker, but whether he used excessive force when he shot the teenager five more times when he was down on the ground. Attorney Irvin Box contends the first shot killed Parker, and his client should be cleared since he was defending himself and his employees during an attempted armed robbery. I, I know one of the comments and one of the things I said in my, in my brief that I filed is that the district attorney said if that first shot had been fatal, then Jerome Ursula would be a hero. At the center of the debate are the findings in the final autopsy report, which was completed by Dr. Collie Trant. Trant was the chief medical examiner at the time, but has since been terminated. In the report, Trant stated the first shot fired was a non-fatal gunshot, but Box says a review by a senior pathologist assigned to the case calls that into question. Based upon just simply looking at his notes and the manner of death, the manner of the shot, she said she would never put it was non-fatal. Both prosecutors and the defense team have interviewed the senior pathologist, Dr. Chai Choi, and the medical examiner's office confirms those meetings did occur this May. But the ME office also contends no changes have been made to the final report. She did not change any of the findings in this case. She did not change the cause of death as multiple gunshot wounds to the head and trunk. She did not change the manner of death from homicide, uh, she reviewed the case, but did not make any medical uh, findings, any changes in any medical findings. Ursuline's attorney, Irvin Box, wants to know why. I don't know. Uh, I, I've actually been told that that was a mistake on non-fatal wound by another medical examiner in the medical examiner's staff. So I don't know why they wouldn't change that. Now, a hearing on the motion to dismiss the case will be heard on August 20th. That's when a judge will decide whether or not that will happen. As for the district attorney, David Prater, he is not commenting on this motion to dismiss this case, but a member of his staff tells me that he's ready to go to trial. Kelly? All right, Adriana, Ursuline's trial is set for September 13th.